CFL lamp repair we are going to repair a CFL lamp which went bad and here is the procedure how we are proceeding you can see this uh, CFL lamp we are going to repair uh, this lamp went bad in the service uh, we will make some troubleshooting on this one and we will see what is the problem with this one we will make a little bit testing and uh, troubleshooting and I will show the way how we are going to proceed with this one here is the power uh, socket power holder you can see 100 watt lamp I am going to put it in and you can see the power in and this lamp is powering up lighting up now I am going to put the CFL in you can see the CFL is not glowing it is glowing a little bit in the end while we are going to remove this from the power some way like this uh, this is not good this is bad this is not glowing uh, now we are going to uh, put the voltage power side and we are going to open this using a very small screwdriver or a tester you can remove you can dismantle the two halves and you should take care the glass should not be broken in your hands and by this way you can make it uh, split in two halves now the first step is uh, there are three steps you can make troubleshooting don't uh, say that something is bad in uh, anything could be but don't suspect instead testing is required you should see first first step is you should look at the circuit if the circuit is cleaned it is not dirty it is not burnt it is not black there is no resistance burnt there is no nothing there no capacitor exploded so you can see everything is good uh, so this it, it could be the circuit could be good or the circuit could be bad there are two ways we are going to troubleshoot like a black box uh, there is input over here 220 volt these two prongs are carrying power to the PCB in these two wires are bringing power uh, and there is a fuse over here in this black wire you can see the fuse is there the fuse fuse could be blown mm, then there is an output uh, to the lamp here is the glass element you can see and uh, to this glass there are two pins over here and two pins are here inside so these four pins are there and these are the two pins for the uh, p and p p1 p2 p3 p4 something like that they have written uh, these pins uh, so these uh, they there there is one filament inside in each uh, glass leg you can see here if you will check the resistance the resistance will be very low very low resistance you can observe something 5 to 10 ohms you can get this filament resistance will be there 5 to 10 ohms are a short circuit you can observe over here if it will be opened it means that the uh, the lamp is broken or the filament is broken now we are going to make little bit troubleshooting on um, using multimeter we will uh, set this multimeter uh, to some continuity range if you we will set to the continuity range is this, this button I will press the continuity range will be selected now is this continuity is selected and here is the continuity I can see a zero ohm resistance and the beep also I can listen um, so it means that the continuity is selected now we are starting from the from the power prongs to the circuit uh, so from here we will we will start and both prongs we will check the continuity if the continuity will be there it means that the power is coming to the to the PCB if we, we will start it from here from one prong uh, we will start and we will put our meter on um, one wire so it means that if we will get some continuity it means that this wire is good and the fuse is good now the white wire we are going to to check the other prong we are going to select and power we are testing up to here and up to here also we are experiencing the continuity the continuity is there and zero reading you can see so it means that these two wires are good they are bringing power 
they are bringing power to the PCB so it means that the power is coming to the PCB the circuit either the circuit is bad or not our output is bad we are going to test the output testing circuit is a little bit difficult but the output is easy to test here you should check uh, if you will get some continuity over here or some 5 to 10 ohm resistance 7.8 ohm resistance we are getting over here it means that this is good this filament is good this filament we are going to test internal here while we are testing we are not getting any continuity no continuity is there ol out of limits it means that the filament inside is opened uh, this filament is opened this is not good that's why the lamp is here the lamp is broken inside and it is fused it is blown so that's why there is no continuity over here and the lamp is not working now the way is we will we will break this element from here and we will remove this uh, glass element and we will put this new tube which is good this is very very much inexpensive item you can purchase some four uh, tubes for a dollar something like that and uh, for a quarter dollar you can repair here we are going to test the continuity 9.2 ohms something like that we are experiencing and the other one we are going to test this one is also something 9.8 it means that the two filament are intacted they are good because this is new tube and if we will check in between the two legs there will be no continuity the reason we the reason for this is this is glass this is insulator and there is gas inside and it will not give any continuity in between the two legs uh, but in between the filaments each and every leg filament you will get a continuity or some resistance like 5 to 10 ohm you will get so I checked it in front of you this is new filament it is showing some 10 ohm 9.8 ohm something like that now we will do the next step in the next step we will break this glass we will uh, take a pl plastic uh, bag and will keep this uh, lamp in a plastic bag and this will secure the glass take uh, some file or metal part something like that and uh, grab it and then uh, give some taps to the glass element a glass element and then the glass element will be broken as you can see this side also I have to break now I broke off the glass and this uh, lamp had come in my hand now only circuit part here you can see this filament is intacted this is showing here and the other one is cut there is no filament here this is this has had been fused and this was the problem now uh, we will take it and we will remove the cables and we should have to remove the PCB the circuit board from the uh, plastic part uh, using a plier or something like that or nose plier you can take and uh, you can remove these uh, wires these are just wrapped on the pins and we are unwrapping and I'm go just going to remove one and the rest of the three I will remove off camera all the four you will have to remove uh, so now this is removed and the circuit had been removed from and here you can see the four uh, sleeves sleeve parts we can reuse these sleeves or we can take a new sleeve like this and we can cut four pieces or we can reuse the older now uh, this cap is in our hand and these uh, parts this uh, this glass is glued in and we will take this with a knife or some metal or uh, screwdriver we can break these uh, parts these uh, glass parts from and just we will clean this up we will clean it thoroughly now you can see the older parts had been broken and the remaining are there but with a little care for the fingers we will break down all the glass and will now you can see this is totally cleared there is no glass the no old glass now it is ready uh, to put in the new filament new glass element these uh, four uh, sleeves I reused uh, these uh, small pieces of uh, glass sleeve fiberglass 
and here you can see just we are going to put it in and uh, just barely it should come off of the cover it should not come off very much if it will be like this it will be a problem the circuit will not come in so it will should be early it should come and then here you should secure using two uh, scotch tape pieces or some insulation tape you have to take and you have to secure it temporarily over here like this temporarily we are fixing this in place later on we will remove this tape and the other uh, leg you have to do the same way mm, with the other with another piece of uh, tape we can just barely take it off and then uh, we have to fix it using the tape the reason for the tape is temporarily we are fixing it and then we will glue it and then the tape we will remove later on so it should be like this now it is in place the glue people are using different glues this is super glue master you can see this is a small quantity glue is there inside this is some people are using with uh, some soda and uh, this is not the glue which we will use instead uh, RTV some people are using some people are using very special glue for this and I am using this one Vinamol you can see Vinamol Dura this uh, Vinamol Dura is uh, for wood actually this is for the wood application they made and uh, this is coming in the bag like this uh, we are just going to keep some put some quantity of glue on the two legs of the glass element here and then you using my screwdriver I can keep it on the glass as well as on the plastic body so that it will be fixed properly I mean the uh, so glass will be bond with the plastic using this glue this is durable this is working well I work I used it before even and the wires if it will come on this is not a problem because this is insulated while it will be dried it will be insulated and there will be no trouble of electricity or something like that the minimal you have to use it on or you can use any glue of your choice this is my preference because I have this glue and I used it before the result was good and that's why I'm using it you can use uh, your own preferred glue this is up to you some people are using plaster, uh, plastic plaster of Paris E1 then later on we will remove the two pieces of the plastic the, re the residue glue we will clean from the pieces so that the covers will be fixed properly now we will keep it for some 24 hours or something mm, then later on we will put the circuit then in 24 hours the glue will be settled and then later on yeah now you, you can see after 24 hours this had been fixed very firmly and we removed the paper the tape pieces also and it is very well uh, bonded here and now I am going to fix the PCB lay the PCB as we removed it uh, the four uh, wires we will wrap on the pins uh, as we removed it from just we will make it in the some way that we will start it from some somewhere like this we will wrap it and wrap it and till the end of the wire we will wrap the reason we will not keep the wires so that it will become a mustache and will not touch somewhere surrounding that's not a good idea in the one wire we wrapped it and the other wire also I will do it in the same way and some tool also you can use uh, in this way you can use your tweezer or something like that and you can um, just uh, wrap the wire uh, the remainings should not touch here and there to the other components this should not touch over here otherwise it will be a problem and uh, the other side the two had been completed two wires now the other side we are going to do the same thing with 
uh, we are just keeping the PCB in and then these two wires we are wrapping but it is a little bit difficult now because one side had been fixed the other side fixation will be a little bit tricky but by any mean we can do it the last wire I am going to wrap it in in the same ideology here you can see this is the way we will fix all now I am going to fix both covers all the wires had been wrapped all four now we are just going to fix it now we are going to test it the last uh, the last thing is we have to put it in the 220 volt holder now you can see it's glowing it's perfectly glowing and the light is okay now again i'm testing it you can see it's glowing very well and this is a new glass element actually the circuit is okay now it's repaired and it's repaired just for very very much little for 25 uh, cents uh, this is this become a new lamp if you like this video thumbs up